today actually I thought I was going to share a tutorial because for Halloween I wanted to be Ursula. Hi guys, guess what we're doing today? I know my channel is about how to say things right, but you know what? It's Halloween and my family is big on Halloween. Well, when my kids were growing up, they loved dressing up, they loved Halloween, and so I became involved, and now I myself like to dress up for Halloween. So, I've always been wanting to be Ursula. I wanted to be Ursula. So bad last year, but I didn't get to. I was Jellico Cat last year. So this year, I thought I was going to go for my favorite villain because she's just so really she will invade your space with her character her look her voice and I went online and aside from the costumes being very expensive if you bought them ready to wear I went online and looked at some tutorials and well so many talented people out there so wow thumbs up to all of you but I had something in mind that I really wanted to bring to life with very little budget of course you still end up spending uh, quite an amount of money but it's not as expensive as if you were buying it ready-made and so I bought a black material I brought a lining material so it's a little less expensive I bought it from Fabricana this is the one and then I bought a purple fabric which is a little shiny and it's lining material two yards three yards that's enough the width I would say the width for um, for the black is um, 60 inches and that's that's why I needed only two yards now this one the width for this purple fabric is 44 inches so I had to buy three now we're gonna start cutting Okay, so first let's make the tentacles. So from the top of the tentacle to the bottom, that measures 53 inches. You can even go lower. I mean, you can go longer than that. And then you can spread the um, tentacle more. You can straighten it more. But in my case, I wanted it to really be curvy already. Okay, so that's nine inches right there. That's the width of the top of the tentacle. And of course, you go all the way to the end of the tentacle and you'll see a little curve there. So it depends on you on how much curve you want your tentacle to have. But I think this is good. Now see that bottom tentacle there? We have about uh, 15 to 16 inches wide of fabric. For you to be able to use up just as little fabric as you can, you have to position your tentacles as close to each other as possible. And remember, Tentacles will not have to be uniform. You can have, some of them can be really curvy, some of them could be less curvy, and then uh, some are longer, some are shorter. But see, you want your tentacles to be really long. They should really be draping. So first I cut the purple tentacle, and then once I was done, I put it on top of the black fabric and then drew a pattern on the black fabric tracing the outline of the purple tentacle and then I cut the fabric, the black fabric. So there you go, they're exactly the same and then we're going to put them together. There you go. Okay, so now that I'm done cutting the black fabric, I'm going to just drape the purple tentacle on top of the black fabric. The same pattern. That's one tentacle. Spin them nicely and, uh, you know, securely on the sides. Now that you've seen the first tentacle, we're going to make seven more. We need eight tentacles. Okay, so now we're ready to sew.
Then we lock it here. And then start at the other end. We're gonna now sew it all the way to here and then that way we're done. Now we're going to reverse the fabric, grab it all the way to the end then pull it out. So we're done sewing the tentacle. See how it looks once you've reversed it? There you go, all the way to the end. Now that we've sewn the tentacles, I'm going to show you how they are when they are stuffed. But first we'll start stuffing. So this is from the waist and then it goes all the way down to the floor. Whoa, look at that. So I'm so excited. There are many ways by which you can attach the tentacles to something that will hold them together. It can be a waistband. Uh, I've seen people use a belt or it can be an old skirt that you can just cut short, really short. And uh, in my case, I just looked for an old skirt. Now this is a button skirt and I cut it so it's uh, just like 10 inches from the waistline down to the bottom hem. Uh, that's all I need. Now the next thing we need to do is spread the skirt so that you can see the entire width of the skirt. Let's say my waistline is 30, so that would be 30 inches across, okay? I would leave two inches on both sides for the button allowance. So um, I'm gonna now get the center of that entire width so that at least I have a better reference, easier to measure. And then we divide four panels per side, or a total of eight panels, because we have eight tentacles. Now we are ready to attach the tentacles to the waistband. As you will remember, we divided the entire width of the waistband by eight sections and each tentacle is attached to a section. Now what I did was I uh, folded the top of the tentacle into three so the sides overlapping each other and then I turned the tentacle around so that once I have put the 
top over the waistband the black fabric is actually facing outside because the suction cups should actually be inside now do this for all eight tentacles they should all be evenly distributed So this one's I sewed by hand. It'll be hard to sew on a sewing machine. So do this for all tentacles and uh, we are ready to actually um, add the suction cups and whatever embellishments we have. We're almost there. So now we're going to cut the little suction cups. I uh, bought this purple felt uh, material and so I cut little circles. Um, half of them were big and the other half were smaller. I actually had 11 to 12 suction cups per tentacle. My husband had this great idea. We used um, pool noodles. So I got two. One was larger and the other one was smaller. Of course, the larger ones will go to the higher part of the tentacles. And um, the smaller ones were for the lower parts of the tentacles. So now we are slicing the pool noodles. And I have 11 to 12 pool noodles, of course, to match the felt. Uh, suction cups we're going to attach them one by one 11 to 12 per tentacle position them alternately and also I thought I should put a little jewel a little bling randomly to uh, the little um, suction cups to give it that extra look. Now after gluing them, we are ready. Okay, so I think I need to uh, raise this a little bit, but otherwise this looks good already. Okay, so maybe I have to put this up. You know that thing? There you go. Well, today is the big day. I actually was not able to sleep last night because I was so excited. Now, I did not actually take a video of my makeup because I was not very sure if it was going to turn out well, but uh, looks like it did. So I'm just gonna share some photos. I'm not really a makeup guru, so there you go. Um, there will be other videos there who will be able to show you how to put makeup better. So I put foundation and eyeshadow base. For the eyeshadow, I used purple on my inner um, eye corners and blue on the outer eye corners. And at the center, you'll see some glimmer of silver white there. Now, I just made sure that I blended them all um, so that they had some continuous effect. I also put purple eyeshadow underneath my eyelids just so um, they made my eyes look bigger. I had to cover my brows with concealer and then I drew higher brows um, just to make them more Ursula looking. And, uh, and I used purple shadow as my blush and, uh, and I made sure I drew that huge mole on uh, the face. I also did take a video of the wig, but otherwise, uh, it's pretty simple. I just bought this um, hair spray, and then I test the wig and uh, sprayed it all over. 
I also hang the wig upside down overnight just to make sure that the hair was really standing the following day and it did so there you go and now we are ready I had some photo shoot on the day so take a look at the tentacles and see how huge they actually uh, are but that was exactly how I wanted my tentacles to be and um, of course because I was going to the office today we were celebrating Halloween I had to make sure that my top was appropriate uh, so nothing like the low cut um, strapless top but yes I think it worked so again it depends if you're going to a party you can definitely use uh, the strapless uh, tank top or something but otherwise always uh, appropriateness is uh, in order there you go I hope you liked my tutorial it was more a tutorial for the tentacles but you see I had to be there as Ursula so I threw in some photos of uh, the final look and uh, thanks for joining me. Good luck if you want to be Ursula next Halloween or uh, if you want to attend uh, cosplay events. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped. And yeah, if you like it, please give uh, my video a like and uh, subscribe and uh, comment as well. You can definitely find me on Instagram, how to say it right, or uh, on this YouTube channel. So um, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so how did that go? Um, I hope that you learned from my tutorial. I thought this was a perfect time to do a little tutorial and to share a little bit of uh, me. Like, uh, I like to be creative once in a while and I thought this was something that was really challenging. And uh, I hope it helped. Bye for now.